Hey guys, so today I want to share a video with you discussing Sergi Ivan Ceglo, um, the founder of Cubic, and just some of the misunderstandings about him and why a lot of things about Sergi Ivan Ceglo are super, super, super bullish and one of the most bullish things about Cubic. Um, also, there's so many things going on with Cubic lately and so much good news that I have to share with you guys. I'm going to try next week to start bringing out a couple of videos a week again. Um, keep up keep up with that news but let's get into this video now so yeah this is kind of a reaction to some things that i've just been seeing on um on uh, x or twitter or whatever you want to call it um and the first thing is just this guy max that's been footing cubic generally every day lately um and you know just a lot of his foot is unfounded like he has he has some valid points but a lot of it's just over the top and um you know he's just making the point that uh cfb was arguing that the white paper would not come till the end of development really important point here is cubic is fully developed it's just stuff in the line of useful proof of work and uh, agart that isn't fully developed and obviously every crypto project is still in development for example if you take cas cas is still developing smart contracts so every project's in development but the the basic roots of cubic are developed it can run smart contracts it can uh it has decentralized apps it can trans transact at a super scalable um amount and i'll show you that in, in some upcoming coming videos to sharing actual facts of that now it's feeless so it's a working um tick chain as they call it blockchain or crypto project it's, so it's working it is developed it's just sergey and cheglo is talking about the huge development of it um, so that's just a null point, um, but we'll get into that in a second. And they said that Agart, you know, is meant to be down for 2027 and now it's magically been brought forward years. That's just untrue. They think that they can, you know, that they're getting some developments for Agart, that they're they're making progress quicker. They also, um, or Sergi Ivan Ceglo also thinks that um, Agart is, um, you know, it could have some use cases before 2027, before it's fully developed, but... It's not been brought forward. Still, the target's two thousand twenty-seven. And then another point that this guy makes is that you know, Cubic, in reaction to all the fud that I was getting, is now releasing a white paper, is releasing a scientific paper, and is um, changing its tokenomics. And the the thing about that is, I see that as really bullish. He's he's saying that that's a reason for to say that Cubic is shady or something like that. But I see that as positive news because I know what what it actually means is that Cubic. Um, Firstly, is actually a truly decentralized project. And what that means is that the Sergi Ivan Ceglo doesn't want the white paper to be released now. Um, he doesn't want scientific paper, papers to be, to be released now. And he didn't want the tokenomics to be released. It was the community that voted on that through a decentralized project and made those changes. And it's really great to see a project that's adaptable. So that's all I'll say about that. Then the other point, the main point I want to get into is I'm constantly seeing these type of comments on um, X where people say, the founder's shady past odds are aren't as good as others. People say that, you know, they think that Cubic has a high chance of failing because of the founder's shady past. So let's let's look into that in this video. So, right, so this is Sergi Ivan Chekhov, okay? And is he a problem? Well, you know, CFB, and this is my opinion, and I'm going to explain to you why, he is the reason to be bullish on Cubic. It's, you know, everything else about Cubic is important and is impressive or whatever, but this guy is the reason that you and me should be really bullish on Cubic. Um, so, Sergi Ivan Ceglo, he created a project called NXT back, I'm not sure what year it was, maybe 2011, 2012, something like that. And NXT, um, you know, right now, it's, you know, the project's dumped drastically, but at the time, it was a revolutionary project. So, NXT was a proof of stake cryptocurrency and it was created by Sergi Ivan Ceglo. It was the first proof of stake ever. So if you think of all those proof of stake projects that are out there right now, all of those projects are citing NXT because it was the first project out there that wasn't a Bitcoin Bitcoin clone. It was a completely different thing. So it was technologically a revolution. Many copycat projects came out and approved an NXT. Ivan Ceglo then had a choice. Was he going to stick with NXT and try and make it you know, competitive, or was he going to move on and start something new? And he decided to move on and start something new while NXT can continued on as a project and still exists as a project today. 
So what he moved on to then was um, called IOTA. And IOTA was the first um, DAG project ever. So a, a ta tango it's called. Um, again, IOTA was revolutionary because it was obviously the first implementation of a DAG project. It was based off the papers uh, from the guys who created CAS. But really importantly, and I'm not putting down CAS here saying this, and I don't want it to be seen that way, but really importantly, CAS wasn't the first implementation of a DAG project. It's the best implementation we've seen so far, but IOTA was, and it laid the, the, the groundwork for all these other DAGs to come around. And since then, there was many, many copycat DAGs, and many of those projects were improvements on IOTA, um, but IOTA was a revolutionary and successful project. Now, again, Ivan Cheglo had a choice to stick with this project if he wanted to and see could he make a success of it, keep it pumping through cycles, but he moved on to create something different and he, he had fallouts as well. That's worth noting with the other guys he, he was working with on that project. But since then, basically since Ivan Cheglo's left, IOTA hasn't been as, as successful. Um, but it's really important to say those first two projects were revolutionary projects. And then in terms of returns that if you um, bought both I IOTA and NXT um, during their ICOs, and by the way, the first ICO ever was created by Sir Gio Ceglo. If you bought them during their ICOs, you would have had the biggest returns that anyone has ever seen in crypto. Um, so 614,000 for IOTA and half a million percent um, return for NXT. So just by looking at his history, the returns on Sergi Ivan Cheglo's projects have been exceptional. And the, the technology that he's developed has been um, exceptional in terms of breaking new ground. Um, but he's moved on for those projects then when he, he went as far with them as he thought he could. So yeah, as we said there, so NXT was the first non-Bitcoin clone project. Um, it was the first true proof-of-stake project. And IOTA was the first successful Im implementation of a DAG. And his fingerprints are all over the history of crypto. Like this is a relatively young guy, but his history in crypto is crazy. He's been working at this sort of stuff since he was a young teenager, as far as I know. So he was working in crypto long before Bitcoin ever came, came around. He was working on developing something like Bitcoin. He was the third person to ever mine Bitcoin. So, you know, he's really, really early on, on Bitcoin. And you can imagine how much Bitcoin he owns. He was uh, was identifying vul vulnerabilities in Spectre 2, which Spectre 2 was what preceded CAS. Um, now, whether correct or not, I don't know if those vulnerabilities were correct, but he has the emails to show that when Spectre 2 was out, he was sharing emails saying, you know, this is a vulnerability, something that you need to work on. Not a big deal, by the way, that like loads of people would have been doing that with Spectre 2. Loads of people would be doing that with loads of other projects. So it's not like he found a cast or anything like that. That's none of his work. But the point that I want to get at is he's, you know, the roots of so many projects. He's there. He's quoted in so many of these white papers. And, you know, I'm sure he was doing the same with many other projects. I just know Spectre 2 was one that he shared and it really pissed people off because, you know, he was winding up the cast community. And that, that obviously is annoying. And I get that. So he was discussing Cubic since 2012. That's when he first mentioned it. Now, of course, his first mentions of Cubic there, the idea of Cubic has evolved so much since then, but it was then that he was talking about creating this project called Cubic. And he was discussing the idea of um, useful proof of work over 20 years ago when he was obviously a very, very young man. So this guy has been around a long, long time. Now, if you look at projects like Ethereum that was created by um, Vitalik Buterin or Cardano, for example, that was created by Charles Hoskinson, and you look at, you know, so many other projects out there, in most people's opinion, including mine, these projects, you know, Ethereum is a dinosaur project now. Cardano is a dinosaur project now. They've both failed more or less, in my opinion. But maybe I'm not knowledgeable enough. Maybe there's a way that they're going to turn it around. These projects are going to be a success. But they look like they have many, many flaws. But rather, you know, with these two guys, what they've just done is they've take, they're have they taking their projects through cycles. They're invested in these projects now. And they, they probably want to take true cycles and see see the projects pump. But I'm sure they're, they're really working hard to develop the technology. But they didn't have the courage just to drop those projects when they weren't successful and say, I'm going to start another project. Now, Sergi Ivan Cheglo did do that because um, he wanted to advance his projects. And people see it as a bad thing. 
But I'm not, I'm not saying it's a bad thing that these guys stuck with their projects. That's a, a really commendable thing too. But what I'm saying to you is that if they're truly interested in technology, maybe they should have just started from scratch again. And maybe it's not such a commendable thing. And we should look at Ivan Chegel's path of actually ditching a project that, you know, isn't going to be on the, the cutting edge of technology, in his opinion, and trying to trying to move on to what he does think is going to be the next, the next big thing. So, you know, here's a question for you. Who else in crypto has created two super successful crypto projects like Sergi Ivan Cheglo has? So CFP, you know, come from beyond is his nickname. And I'll answer that for you. No one has, unless, again, I don't know everything. Maybe I'm wrong. But as far as I know, nobody has created two super successful revolutionary crypto projects except for Sergi Ivan Cheglo. And he appears beyond to his third project. But we're just talking about his history. He's created two super successful crypto projects and a lot of other businesses on top of that. So there's literally no one in the crypto game that has um, Sergio Ceglo's track record or success rate. Again, as far as I'm aware of, I don't always want to just speak in deafness, but as far as I'm aware of, nobody does. And then, you know, why do people think that CFP, Sergio Ceglo was a weakness for a project? I mean, that's hilarious. He's, you know, there are very few people in crypto with a less shady pass. He is close to a guarantee as you can get. Sergey Ivanchenko is doxed, and doxed means that they're open, that you can find information about them, you can find out where they live, track their whole history. He's been doxed for over twenty years with a, a history of successful projects and a history of pushing the boundaries of crypto technology. I mean, this guy is as unshady as it gets. The only reason people find him shady is that he left the project NXT. It pumped hugely during his first bull run, like many crypto projects out there. And then it dumped a lot after that. And since then, it's you know it's gone through brief spikes, but it hasn't been half successful. Exact same with, with IOTA. Pumped a lot during his first bull run. And then since then, it's gone through a, uh, another pump during the 2021 market that was nowhere near as, as successful. But you know since then, Ivan Cheglo's moved on. So I get why people don't like those projects, had their huge uptime, but didn't have much massive success after that but the whole point that you need to take from this is those projects were revolutionary in terms of technology many copycats came around the copycats were better and Ivan Cheglo was all the time focusing on what the next big thing was he knew they were flawed projects and he was trying to create something that was more perfect um and that more perfect thing by the way is probably cubic no guarantees but probably is so, you know, I want to use a football analogy here with you. So some of you guys might be into soccer. Some of you mightn't. You might be in into, you know, sports over in America. But whatever you're into, you can use this analogy and just change the face and change the sport. But this guy is called Jurgen Klopp. And um, he, in the past, has been the manager of Mines, was the team that he was a manager of. Then he became manager of Dortmund. And then he became manager of Liverpool. And the reason I picked him is because... He wasn't always the number one manager. He didn't always always win the league, but he was really successful. He was hugely successful at Mines, then really super successful with Bruce Dortmund, and then even more successful with Liverpool. And what you could see with him is repeated success. He didn't just get one job and kind of get lucky that things lined up for him. He brought that success to Dortmund, and then he brought that success to Liverpool. So it's repeatable a success story. So if... Jurgen Klopp, which he most likely will in a couple of years, gets a new job as a football coach, maybe in Italy or something like that. Instantly, if I'm a betting person, I'm going to bet the day I hear sir, that, that Jurgen Klopp has got that job, I'm going to bet on him to get top four in the league. Maybe not win the league, but I'm just pretty sure straight away by the evidence of his history that he's going to be a top four manager. And it's a really solid bet from a risk-reward uh, standpoint. The exact same logic applies to Sergio Ivan Ceglo. Now, I can't guarantee, the same way I can't guarantee that, that Klopp's next team will win the league, I can't guarantee that Cubic will be the number one crypto or even the top five crypto. But I can look at the track record of Sergi Ivan Ceglo and from that, I can confidently say that there's a high probability, and this is all we're dealing with here because really we're just gambling in crypto. So the probability is really high that he will get Cubic into at least a top 20 position in crypto, and that's a minimum. You would imagine he get into top 20. And this is how you work out the risk versus reward of a project. 
And there's no project, in my opinion, right now that has a more obviously strong risk reward profile than Cubic right now. Because Cubic is sitting around a market cap of less than $200 million. And to get into the top 20 during a bull run, it's probably going to have a market cap of you know, 10, 20 billion, maybe even 30 billion. I mean, 100x is really genuinely possible with Cubic. And you're talking about something that already has so much going for it, has a creator that's completely docs with such a great history. And, um, and you know, they haven't released their white paper yet. But once they release that white paper, if it does half of what it says it's going to do, it's going to be like one of the biggest deals ever in crypto. And this guy's track record shows that he delivers on his promises. So, I mean, I just don't get it. I don't get how people are fading this crypto project to, to any extent. I just think it's a, a great time to, time to buy. Nothing's guaranteed. But in terms of risk versus reward, this project, in my opinion, is the number one that I've seen. I haven't seen all the projects, but the number one that I've seen. And it's mainly because of Sergi Ivan Cheglo. That's all, guys. I'll see you on the outside. 